I'm Claire Shucksmith and I'm the writer-director of Threadpeg Rebo. The um, story, briefly, is of a boy who's made of scraps of cloth and he lives in a clearing in a very dark forest with a woman with needles for fingers. You know, sewn the rags and stitches white, balls and stuffy clubs inside. Rebo, Rebo made a thread, there's only duck down in your head! inspiration for Threadbare Grebo, as it ended up, as it became by the end, was a combination of quite kind of pragmatic, um, if you like, a, like a, a quite a pragmatic metaphor about what it's like to have mental health problems, how can we make that into something that people can actually relate to. So for example, the crow becomes um, kind of a character almost like of a social worker. Hello, why? I suppose you must have found your wings after all then? Yes! I think, by and large, it's it's sort of trying to tread a fine line between things being quite literal and, and being um, it's very symbolic. I think it's quite a rich metaphor and there's a lot going on through a very various levels. So then he meets uh, loads of uh, sort of deformed creatures. Have you had any medicine? And he meets the village children who teach him essentially how to be a child and how to play. <laughs> the villagers, because they don't understand it and because they are frightened of him, put him in a, a cell. the message ultimately is that there is a, a cycle to, to social um, alienation and to kind of emotional misery creates more emotional misery unless it's stopped, unless we humanely stop it and treat people with the respect they deserve. <laughs> what do you call a uh, boy yeah. made out of rags? I love working on Threadbare Grebo and I think it's absolutely key that although it's quite, um, I suppose it's quite bleak at times and it has to be because that's obviously, it's kind of, it needs that to be quite bleak at times for its, um, for its parable to, to come through. At the same time it's tremendous fun, it's fun to watch, it's fun to be in, it's fun to direct because it's so ridiculous, it's so, um, you know, it's, it's so much a fairy tale, and fairy tales are designed to be, by and large, exciting and interesting and with larger-than-life characters. I think the plan from here is to get support um, and to get funding, which are not the same. You know, we need sort of emotional support just as much as we need financial support at this point. And we need to build partnerships with mental health organisations so that it's not an event in isolation but that it has a longer legacy behind it. Um, we need to find opportunities for performance where there can be this, um, this additional work that goes on with it. We need to find somebody who is very experienced and very committed to that kind of work to, to advise us. So I think that's our next step. It's going to be really exciting to take Threadbare Grebo on with the fire station's um, support behind us as well, because I just think their heart is in absolutely the right place. Winds and needs are really vital.